Hi guys, so this is finally a tutorial on how I bronze and contour with powders and I say finally because I have actually tried to record this video a few times now this is like the third time and that's kind of because I feel like it's a really simple thing to do and I don't feel like I say the right things so this time I've tried a little bit of a different style of portraying this video and what I'm going to do is I'm going to film it all without talking and then I'm going to do a voiceover because that way I feel like I can stop and pause it whenever I want so I can add in all the different bits that I want and I can make sure I include all of the information that I need without rambling like I'm doing now. Oh yeah and I will have a tutorial on these ombre purple eyebrows up on my channel very soon if not already. If it is I'll link it in the description box below. If not then keep an eye out for that if you want to know how to get purple eyebrows. So I'll stop rambling now and we can get straight into how I bronze and contour with powders. So for bronzer I'm using this bourgeois one and it's the chocolate one. The one that looks like a chocolate bar and smells delicious. And for a bronzer you want it to be nice and warm toned which means it will have like an orange undertone. And I like this one because it's kind of sheer but that is a good thing for beginners and it's also really buildable and easy to blend out which is also perfect for everyone to work with. And I'm taking this on a large fluffy brush. It's not exactly circle but it doesn't really matter on the shape of this one as it is just basically to apply bronzer which is really simple. So I'm starting off by applying it and I'm applying it to the bottom of my cheek you know when you do that pouty face and you have that line you want to go from there upwards you don't want to bring it down below you want to keep it above that line like I am trying to illustrate to you here so I'm just blending it up above that line and the point of bronzer is just to add warmth and like a sun-kissed glow but also just to make your face not look so flat and one block cut colour of foundation. Um, I'm also applying it to the temples of my forehead because that is where the sun naturally hits your face and you will notice you naturally get a little bit of a bronzy tan here. Um, so I'm using the same product and the same fluffy brush just to blend that on and I am using this in a windshield wiper motion and just blending out the edges so there are no harsh lines. Now if you were using a contour palette this is a shade that you would need to use for bronzer. It is a very warmy orange tone and that is what I would normally do on an everyday basis. I wouldn't normally do the next part which is contouring. Now for contouring you want to use a nice cool grey toned compared with this warm orangey tone because in a natural shadow it's not going to look warm, it's going to be like a cool toned grey shadow so you want to use something that's cool toned and I'm taking that on a smaller round fluffy brush which you will see here and it's a lot shorter bristles and it is a lot smaller just so you can get into a more precise area. Now the point of contouring is to change the structure of your face slightly like make your face look a little bit slimmer so that is the point of contouring and I am dabbing my brush very lightly into the colour because it is very powdery and pigmented and I just tapped off my brush to remove any excess powder and I also blew on it because it is so pigmented and I didn't want loads of excess powder on there and so I just started applying it to the bottom area of where I put my bronzer this is why you need a smaller brush. So when you make this face you want to go directly down this line, not below it. You always want to start in the line and blend upwards from it. Like so here and above, not below. Never ever 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 below. Um, so yeah, I'm just applying that in like slightly circular motions but mostly windshield wiper motions and I'm kind of blending it up into the bronzer. In a moment I will take my larger fluffy brush which I use for bronzing just to blend that contour shade up into the bronzer which I'm doing right here. 
just to make sure everything is nice and blended and I also apply it to the temple of my forehead too just for no particular reason except to add a little bit more dimension so again tapping the excess powder off of my brush and just blowing it a little bit and I did notice that I tapped it onto my forehead like stippled it which I never noticed that I did this so that was new to me so I guess I just did that to position where I wanted it to go which wasn't anywhere particular just the whole kind of area and then I used circular motions to blend that out and then taking my bigger fluffy brush blending that out even more so that is pretty much it for contouring but I do also add blusher whenever I do bronze and contour because blusher always brings everything together I also find it's nice to have your bronzer blending out into your blusher because then it just looks a little bit more natural so I start off by smiling and then I apply it to the apples of my cheeks first just in a circular motion just to bring your cheeks forward a little bit and then I start to blend it back up the sides of my cheeks towards my hairline so that is pretty much it and you're done for contouring and bronzing but remember remember I always add a highlighter because I can't live without my highlighter but that is a whole new story so if you would like to see how I highlight in depth and like in detail then definitely just ask in the comment section and I will try and do that for you helped you and if I included all of the information that you guys wanted and needed but if I didn't cover everything or there is still something you're wondering about then I would absolutely love it if you could leave your question in the comment section below if this was helpful and if it was please give it a big thumbs up I'm kidding you can't change the size of a thumbs up on YouTube or anything for that matter so if it was helpful give it a thumbs up please and subscribe to my channel for more videos